Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Stories with Oluchi. If you are new to my videos, welcome. Please subscribe to get updates from me. If you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back and don't forget to hit the bell for updates. Today's story is about the mother of Gokada CEO, Fahim Saleh. I will share with you some details surrounding his death. Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Fahim Saleh the CEO of Gokada. What I'll tell you is that Gokada is not just a business to me, it's a mission. And every part of that mission was always being safe, providing jobs. We had, we do things that nobody else did in the market at the time. Tyrese Haspi was a 16 year old student when he applied to become Fahim's assistant online. By the time the two met, Fahim had already established himself as a pioneer of tech startups in the developing world and was a self-made millionaire. Haspi began working with Fahim. He became obsessed with the CEO's jet-setting lifestyle. According to prosecutors, Haspi stole from his boss signed emails to associates with the title chief of staff and hosted friends at his boss's apartment, passing the condo off as his own. As Fahim began to spend more time abroad working on his startup, Haspio, who was in Manhattan, lived out his fantasy life in Fahim's wallet. He was basically living in Fahim's house. He treated his friends to dinner, drinks, and a show in Manhattan. At the end of the night, he'd invite them back to Fahim's Lower East Side condo, passing it off as his own. When Haspio brought Fahim's dog Lila to her grooming appointment in the West Village, he registered the dog as his own. So the lady who works there didn't even know that this dog did not belong to Haspio, that it belongs to Fahim because of the way Haspio passed it off as his own. It was later discovered that Haspio, who was now 22 years old, had been stealing money from Fahim totaling close to $100,000. So on July 14 of 2020, Haspio hatched a plan to kill his boss. That evening, he dressed in black and wore a black mask, then followed Fahim off an elevator and into his apartment. He then used the taser to immobilize him before killing him. After that, Haspio left the scene and used Fahim's credit card to a Home Depot and bought some cleaning supplies to sanitize the crime scene. He also rented a car in his name. He then returned to Fahim's apartment the next day to dismember the body with a saw and clean up the crime scene. So Fahim was found dead by his sister who had gone to check on him. Parts of his body had been placed in plastic bags and the chainsaw was still plugged on the wall when the police arrived. New York City's medical examiner determined that Fahim had died from multiple stab wounds to his neck and torso. So the personal assistant Haspio was arrested on June 21st of 2020 while hiding in an $18,000 a month Airbnb in his boss's name. Detectives believe that the motive for the killing stemmed from Fahim having discovered that the assistant had stolen tens and thousands of dollars from him. Despite the fact that Fahim did not report him to the police, he still set up a payment arrangement for him. But apparently, Haspio didn't want a payment arrangement. He just wanted Fahim gone entirely. On July 13 of 2020, Haspio pleaded not guilty to murder. On October 13 of 2020, Mahanta Grand Jury on Tuesday indicted Tyrese Haspio with first degree murder and the brutal murder of former employer, tech CEO, and entrepreneur Fahim Saleh. Saleh was the CEO of Nigerian motorcycle ride sharing startup GoKada, which raised about $5.3 million in venture capital in June of 2019. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed the story. Do you have any questions for me? Do you have anything to add to the story that you think people should know? Please drop your comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so that you can get updates from me. I try to post two to three times a week, so I hope you keep coming back. Thank you and have yourself a good day.